Let's have a look at the new Porsche Mission R that was presented today. First of all, it's a show car, but a working one. As we could see in their dev card shots, it's basically a shopped Cayman base structure with a steel tube frame for roof and rear. They use two upgraded Taycan electric motors at front and rear and a battery in the center. Cool is that Porsche fought the cooling topic a bit further. One of the big problems of electric cars is cooling efficiency within components. That means that water cooling can never be as close to really hot components as you want it to be. So even if you pump cold water through a component, you don't get much heat out of it because the liquid is far away from the hotspots. The problem is that you don't want water near any electric components like a battery cell. Porsche presents the Mission R with an oil cooling system for battery and electric motors. The clever thing about this is that you can flood the battery with oil, similar to what Koenigsegg did with the Regera, and you can let oil flow through the stators of the electric motor. The result is that components can be kept at their optimal operating temperature much easier. They can provide maximum performance for longer, they can recharge quicker, and you can extend the lifetime of components also very important for customer racing. Porsche then uses one large radiator in front with a large air intake in the center and a center outlet. Because hot air will exit from here, the roof scoop for the driver cooling doesn't make too much sense there. The large side intakes at the front have active elements, but there is no function for these intakes. The front wheel arch is extremely curved for less drag and better front diffuser exit. Interesting is the side camera position. That gives a very clean A-pillar. At the back we have large side intakes at the front of the rear wheels, but as far as we can see, without function. Behind the rear wheels are massive cutouts for less drag and a more dramatic look. The diffuser has a large center section, which is possible because there is no gearbox in the way. And we have a good side expansion at the side. The rear wing has a front mounted swan neck mounting and a very aggressive flap element. Also the rear wing is an active element, so it can be backed off at higher speeds. Unlike other electric road cars, the battery sits here behind the driver in front of the rear axle. So the driver can sit very low, but the greenhouse structure needs to be extremely stiff for improving crash behavior with such a large heavy battery behind the driver. So in summary, Porsche produced a great looking race car with lots of good ideas for the future of motorsport. How do you like the Mission R concept? Let me know in the comments below.